हे वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट इलास्टिसिटी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज इलास्टिसिटी डिफरेंट इलास्टिक सब्सटेंसेज डिफॉर्मेशन एंड स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन टू सी अबाउट इलास्टिसिटी नाउ वॉट डू यू मीन बाई इलास्टिसिटी बेसिकली द डेफिनेशन इज एज यू कैन सी हेयर the property by virtue of which material bodies regain their original dimension so suppose this is an object and when we apply a force to it the object deforms uh, its dimensions change what happens actually inside it is that the molecules inside it change their positions as they were uh, at this position at the beginning they change their position but when the force is removed the external force is removed object reforms to its original dimension what is the main reason behind this is the intermolecular force between the molecules needs the object to regain its original size or dimension so this is what is elasticity there are two types of bodies mainly elastic bodies and inelastic bodies elastic bodies are the type of bodies which have elasticity in them and they can regain its original dimension what happens actually is when force is applied the object uh, deforms its dimension but when there is removal of external force object can reform to its original dimension now in inelastic bodies what happens they do not have elasticity so they don't regain its original dimension here when the force is applied object deforms but when the force is removed the object remains to its deformed condition two types of perfect body perfectly elastic bodies and perfectly plastic body perfectly elastic bodies are those bodies which can regain its original dimension if after removal of external force so they can come back to their original dimension after we remove the force perfectly plastic bodies they remain in deformed dimension even after the removal of external force now we are going to see what is plasticity or what are plastic substances the property of undergoing permanent deformation even after removal of external force that means a substance gets deformed permanently even after we remove the force applied to it is known as plasticity for example if there is a cement road getting constructed and a kid comes and splashes his hand over it what will happen it will get permanently deformed into that shape only if it is not corrected on proper time now what is elasticity elasticity is the property of coming back what comes back here the property of the object to come back to its original position after removal of external force is known as elasticity suppose we have a rubber band and we stretch it to what limit it has of getting stretched but after removal of the external force force it again come back to its original position suppose i have a phone like this and it is perfectly fine If I get very angry, I will smash it, smash it until its dimension or shape or size changes. See, you can see here how the shape or size or the dimension has changed. Now we will consider another example of changing in dimension. See, I have play dough and I have uh, made them into various other shapes. They remain in deformed shape when I. Sculpt them so. So here, the change in size, shape, or both of the body changes. It is known as deformation. The force which produces this deformation is known as deforming force. Stress and strain. Stress is nothing but internal force per unit cross-sectional area. Cross-sectional area 
suppose this is a fragment of a wire so the area which is like this i have drawn here so it is known as cross sectional area so there is a formula for stress it is nothing but applied force per unit cross section so applied force we can write it down as f capital f and area of cross section we can write as capital a f by a is the formula for stress now uh, let us see about its unit since the unit of force is newton and the unit of area is meter square so uh, the unit or si unit of stress would be newton per meter square longitudinal stress longitudinal stress is the force produced along the length of the body the body here can be wire beam etc i am taking wire is an example to explain you see this is a wire attached to a rigid uh, support uh, if i apply force and elongate this wire so this much is the elongation produced and i stretch it so there is some elongation produced along its length but here in this case of wire what we will do is force is nothing but mg capital m and small g m for the mass of the wire and g for acceleration due to gravity which is continuously acting upon the wire area is pi r square since the wire has cross sectional area or a circular body now volume stress or bulk stress volume stress or bulk stress is nothing but deforming force which produces change in volume of a body a force which is applied which leads to change in volume of a body here i'm taking an example of balloon suppose we have a balloon it is filled with some volume of gas and i am denoting it by capital v the volume of a balloon now we apply external force to it so that is delta p some external force now after application of external force this delta p it leads the volume if i have this balloon and i press it down so its volume will get little bit reduced or divided so new volume would be v minus delta v since small amount of volume is decreased so this is our new volume of the balloon now when there is decrease of volume in the balloon there will be internal restoring force acting on the balloon to restore its original volume so our internal restoring force which is acting on the balloon to regain to its original size is nothing but how much pressure will will apply on on the area present according to the formula volume stress is nothing but applied force per unit area what is the applied force we got internal restoring force delta p a and area is nothing but a a and a gets cancelled so our volume stress is nothing but the pressure how much pressure is applied per unit area now we will know about shearing stress what is shearing stress is when i apply a force the body the shape of the body changes this force is deforming force a force which leads to some change and it changes the shape of the body known as shearing stress here there is an example of a block suppose this is a this is a rubber block if you want to know how i have drawn this first i took a rectangle this is simply how i have drawn the block i have named it as a b c d e f g h okay so these are the original dimension of the block 
सो वेन आई अप्लाई सम फोर्स फ्रॉम यू सपोज दिस इज एन अ बिग इलास्टिक ब्लॉक और रबर ब्लॉक एंड आई एम अप्लाइंग फोर्स फ्रॉम दिस साइड दिस सी ई बी एच साइड सो वॉट हैपन द लेयर चेंजेस एंड दे डिसप्लेस और देर इज चेंज इन द बॉडी दिस लेयर चेंजेस टू सम वॉट दिस दिस लेयर विल ऑल्सो कम फॉरवर्ड See the uh, A B C D E F G H were our original dimension of the cube, and the new phases or the new shape which are formed are C. This is B, so this B has extended, so B dash. C has extended here, so C dash. A has extended, A dash, D dash. Original dimension was A B C D E F G H, but the new formed dimensions are. Wherever there are B and C or A and D, we will write B dash, C dash, A dash, D dash. Since these are the uh, replacements done, so A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Uh, the formula for sharing stress is nothing but how much force I am applying per unit area. Simply, the, that is the formula. strain now we have completed studying about stress now we will see about the second part which is strain what is strain strain is nothing but change in dimension per unit original dimension of a body how much uh, there are changes in the dimension of the body per unit the original dimension property of strain is it has no unit and there are three types of strain longitudinal strain known as tensile strain so these are the three types of strain we, which we have to study now in longitudinal stress suppose i have this wire attached to a rigid support or a ceiling it will have some length okay so i will take it as capital l also it will have some area of cross section so i will take it as capital a so these are the original dimensions but when suppose i attach a weight to this wire there will be elongation produced this was its original length this elongation elongation is small l area of cross section remains as as it is according to the formula of strain strain is nothing but change in dimension upon original dimension what is change in dimension this is my original length capital l small l is the elongation produced okay that means l plus l is l dash or the new length produced correct so what would be my change in length l dash minus l the uh, final length minus the original length upon the original dimension according to the formula of strain so i will write change in dimension so what is change in dimension l dash minus l upon original dimension l but what is l dash we will substitute it here l plus small l Minus L upon capital L plus L minus L gets cancelled. So what would be our longitudinal stress is small L upon L. Same goes for volume strain. Uh, so the formula is change in volume upon original volume. Same we will take an example of a balloon. I am compressing the balloon. So there will be the original volume of the balloon was. capital v but when i compress it the new compressed or some part of the volume gets compressed which is delta v so what would be my new volume of the balloon v dash v dash means v minus delta v according to the formula of volume strain this v dash minus v v 
वी डैश माइनस वी अपॉन वॉट इज द ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम कैपिटल वी आई विल सब्सिट्यूट दिस वी डैश विथ वी माइनस डेल्टा वी एंड माइनस वी अपॉन वी दिस प्लस वी माइनस वी गेट्स कैंसल वॉट रिमेन्स माइनस डेल्टा वी अपॉन वी विच इज़ अ फॉर्मूला फॉर वॉल्यूम स्ट्रेन नाउ फॉर शेयरिंग स्ट्रेन द फॉर्मूला इज रेशियो ऑफ रिलेटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एनी लेयर लेयर हियर दिस इज अ क्यूब ए बी सी डी ए बी इज द फिक्स लेयर सपोज आई पुश दिस क्यूब और ब्लॉक देयर सो देर वुड बी स्लाइट कंप्रेशन और मूवमेंट देर वुड बी स्लाइट एंगल फॉर्म आई विल नेम इट एज ट्रीटा एंड आई विल नेम दिस changed layer with a name suppose i name it as p q so there will be some minute displacement i will name it as x also here also then the height the cube has some height this also has some height on both sharing strain relative displacement of any layer to its fixed layer so x is the displacement uh, h is the fixed layer so that means this is nothing but tan theta since see this opposite and adjacent opposite upon adjacent is nothing but tan so that's why we are taking tan theta this is known as shear angle and also suppose if theta is very 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 small to tan theta so that means tan theta and theta both are nearly equal so our sharing strain would become i will replace this tan theta with theta so it would become x by h is equal to theta that why that's why theta is equal to x by h this is our formula hey thank you for watching the video if you like the video Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And if any doubt, you can email us at the given email address below. Bye.